By clicking on the plus icon, you will be directed to the main project window. On the top left, we have the save button. Then we have the import tools where you can add text, images, charts, music, and a voiceover to your scribe. We will talk about each in separate videos later on. We are just now going over exactly what we have on the screen. Next to the import icons there are two buttons that control the look of your project, like the canvas color and the default hand that draws each element. At the top right, we have the Preview and Publish button. We will go through these several published options later on. At the bottom of the window, we do have the timeline or the storyboard that displays each element you add on the canvas in the order that they will appear. This is where you change your element properties, which we will discuss in details later. Then last, we do have on the bottom right of the screen, cut, paste, copy, and the camera controls. Let's proceed next by adding text onto the canvas to understand how it works in addition to the timeline and camera.